she's tripping. It's too early in the game. Warning. This video may contain content that may not be suitable for children or anyone else that is easily offended. Strong language, graphic content, nudity, bad jokes, and a possible idiot, aka myself, may be featured in the following clip. Viewer discretion is advised. You're not responsible for any damage that you should receive watching this video. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Zims, and welcome to a game called Vivietta. This is a 2D horror game. I read it on Steam. It's pretty new. It was like 10% off or something like that, so I thought I'd give it a try. It was only like, what, $9, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And the reason why I'm playing this game today is because I was inspired about like four years ago when I was watching uh, Corey Kench before I had my YouTube channel. He played the uh, Mad Father, and that was a really good game, really great story. It was also a 2D horror game. I watched Crookman, Corpse Party, Witch's House, so it was all of a really good so i thought i'd give it a try on my channel by dia games hopefully you guys like it hopefully i like it i heard of some puzzles in here you know i'm not the brightest at puzzles from watching me play events and other games but enough of me talking let's get into it oh damn so we got save stations so i'm going to use different save stations just in case i mess something up Ooh, we're gonna do normal we're not doing hard or anything like that all right okay, let's be quiet y'all talk too much decided to join us. About time you opened those eyes. For two days I've been wondering what color they would be. Damn girl, you better chill. Wait, what the? Mmm. Mm. Where am I? Green. Thought so. General Hospital, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll get the doctor. He'll fix you right up. Doctor? Ugh. My mind. I can't. <laughs> Y'all should be accurate. Young man lives. How's the head? I'm aching and confused. I don't. What happened? Why am I here? That's not for me to say. Police inspector Davo will explain. He's on his way. Mr. Fawcett, good morning. Is it? Please, Inspector, call me Jules. Okay, it's getting kind of intense. Mr. Fawcett, I'm Police Inspector Marcel DeVault. I'm in charge of your case. That sounds ominous. I mean, that sounds ominous. Merely stating the facts. Now, do you remember anything of what happened? Any details as to why you're here? Uh, I'm sorry. It's, it's all... According to the investigators, you, your sister, and your friends were all found in the Newville's Iceland. Y yes I... Damn. Before I provide any more further information from our sources, i like to think let you think back. What can you remember? Every detail is helpful. I... I can't. I wish there was... I'm still confused. I feel as though I'm squeezing my memory like an orange. Only nothing comes out besides orange juice. Then perhaps you should try pilling it itself. I mean, pilling it instead. Mr. Fawcett, this is important. You must try to remember. 
Yes. You're right. Perhaps I need to try a different approach. Hey, this is getting good already. All right, he's going back to his memory. There we go, I fixed it. I was wondering why I was looking like that. My bad. I wish they showed who was talking. What a waste of time. I don't even know why we came here. Come on, you weren't even the last least bit curious. Ugh, curious, yes, and now disappointed. Well, you know, what brought us? Jules. I don't believe in any of his sister's nonsense, Tristan. It did make a compelling story, though. Come on, the sun is setting and the weather is turning. Let's get off this stupid rock. Couldn't agree more, Bryce. Never a good idea. Sell that night on the raging sea. Honestly, it's fine, Jules. You keep saying that. Uh, you keep saying that, but look, I'm sorry for wasting your time. You know how my sister gets sometimes. Jules, you shouldn't be so hard on her. And besides, at least you went on a beautiful boat ride. I suppose you're right. The Diane? Dion? Dion? D. We should go. I don't like the look of those clouds. Wait! What? Something strange. Felice is still inside. I thought she was right behind you. Don't worry. She'll mess but still be collecting her things. You should go back and look for us. Something feels off. I'll wait at the pier with Bryce and Trisha and tell them you're coming. Okay, whatever you say, Captain. Ha, ah, be quick, okay? Let's go, Rory. Come here, boy. Alright. Let's go in here and investigate this mansion real brief. So, we're going to be checking everything. So, if it's anything like when Corey Kitchen played Mad Father in the Witcher's house, it's going to be stuff that you wouldn't even think is going to be like puzzles or anything like that. Hey, Felice, wait. Where are you going? Everyone's waiting for us at the, on the pier. It's getting dark, and... All right, Felice. It's too early for the game. Felice! Okay. She's tripping. It's too early in the game. <laughs> oh, this is a... This is a 2D 2D. <clears throat> what happened? It's dark. Damn. Is it night already? I must have been blacked out for a while. Felice! Felice! I have to find her. Wasn't there an al... Wasn't there an alchemical lamp on the boat? I should go back to the pier. Alright, let's go back to the pier. See what we can find. Hmm, I wonder what Diane's cat is doing here. Rory, what are you doing here? Did you get lost? Alright, so we can run. There it is. Okay, we found the pier. Alright, okay, let's get it. It was kind of weird how they put it, though, but I gotta get used to the controls. What? How strange. I can't see my friends anywhere. I wonder where they are. Can you get on the boat? What is it? I think this is a lamp right here, ain't it? We got our chemical lamp. Alright, so we got the lamp, so that's good. Alright, so now we gotta head back and go find police. She was somewhere in that castle after we got jump scared by that ghost. And I was running earlier and I realized we got stamina, so that's not a good sign. So I feel like we're going to be running a lot during this gameplay. I wonder what the save station is going to be, or what it's going to be. Or are we going to be like um, the witch's house and I save like on Rory? It's very dark. Oh yeah, my bad. Hey! Oh, there it is! Save station. Boom! We got it. Let's go in here. Got touch. Hmm, a common oil lamp. It seems broken. A huge statue of Mohuawawa. The old seafarers still revere mytholog mythological creatures uh, like this, even in these parts. I wonder why. Something glowing on that statue, I think. An imposing religious sculpture made of stone, blessed by decay and neglect, is heavily damaged. A hole carved on the pedestal. 
So as you can see, there's a hole carved there on the pedestal. So we might have to find something to put back in our eyeball or whatever that is. An old forgotten things kept with us. An old forgotten things kept with us. Okay. What's over here? Oh, we got blood on the damn on the. Let's go upstairs. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. I seen that. It looks like a head sculpted in some kind of churned chrome metal. A dirty display cabinet. There's nothing useful inside. Okay, what is this up here? I found something. Oh, safe station. No, we don't want that. Okay. A culture bookshelf filled with different colored books. Music, I will say, is pretty damn spooky. I can see stationary supplies inside. It's kind of a lamp, but who lit it? What is this? Jesus, six arms and a gaping mouth. There's something exotic and foreign about this statue. Hmm, is that a button on the pedestal? supposed to mean whatever that's supposed to mean I don't know what that means it looks like it was showing me some type of order so we will try to remember that just in case it's something the human head made in bronze is easy eye stares at me it's locked besides the keyhole the word Greco up here is engraved. Okay, so we gotta find a key with the words Greco on it. Classic message in the bottle. Alright, let's go over here. Nothing. Oh. oh, that's some good graphics right there. How you can press against it. This can't be open. It's a stroller right there, and I don't wanna go over and touch it, but I have to, I think. A doll inside a baby carriage. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, that's what you think. Oh, look at that thing inside the case over there. I think I might go on a statue. The table is littered with junk. None of it's an easy use. Of any use. Inside, I see an emblem. It appears anchored to the base. There are also two buttons. I wonder what they do. Uh, it does nothing, supposedly. Supposedly. So. Hmm. I guess it don't do anything at all. An old oil painting. Its colors faded like everything else in this mansion. It depicts an era of the past. Motley people appear in it. So we know something in that room. I don't know what that means just yet. So we know that's upstairs. The floor is collapsed. I'm not going to be able to simply walk across. Is that an open window on the end of the corridor? They want me to climb out the window? Risky, but maybe I could reach the other side if I crept across the ledge. A fall could be fatal though. A strong gust of wind could knock me over. Maybe if I held on enough to the wall, I'll be able to stay standing. Is it worth the risk to move along the edge? It may seem to be on the option. Yep. Oh, don't do it. I don't know, I died because I was moving too slow or the gust of wind got me. So I went back and tried it to see if I could go by faster. Same thing keeps happening. So it is kind of like the witch's house, it's like a uh, trial and error. So we're going to say there is no, no, there must be a safer way. All right, so let's go make our way back downstairs. All right, let's go in here. Lock from the other side. Hmm, what's this? There must have been to the lower floor. Hmm, this collapsed. Is blocking the way. All right, let's go up. It. Is that it? Mangled wooden mannequins. Is that a dead baby? The portrait of a sour-looking old older man. I wonder why he's so grumpy. 
So you're just going to ignore the dead body that's... Okay. A giant head of a baby made of wood. It has no eyes. Maybe that's a puzzle too. The ghastly profile view of a human skeleton. The woman in this picture looks thin and emaciated. Oh, you better not move, girl. A female mannequin, almost human size. It looks almost alive. She died on the toilet. This one is hunched over and I can't see its face. If it even has one. Well, that's good. We don't need to see her face. I'm glad she stopped over. A big unpleasant hand is pointing left. It's telling me to go this way. A young girl playing with her ball. The painting looks so real. The heck? A painting of some creature. Is it a rat? Look like a dino rat. This canvas is blank. No, wait. Actually, it looks like someone painted a thick layer of white on top of something. So we have to find something to peel that off. So, so far we got the statue, we got that window and that little board thing. We need that key and we need this painting thing. So, okay, um, we need to find something either to wash that off or to freaking, this figure is carved of wood. All right, locked. Besides the keyhole, the word Mastro appears in gray. So Mastro is right there. Of the sea. A whole assortment of diverse species are painted with watercolors. So I think every time we read something and it's bolded in yellow, I think that's going to be a little hint that it's something I would need to do to this. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So maybe that might be some kind of code later on to some like door or something. Who knows? All right, what's this? The moon reflects its taunting light at me. It's late, cold, and dreary. I think I heard something, but I'm not sure. The moon, okay, same thing. Is she in here? Locked. Besides the keyhole, the word Mastro appears in gray. So the Mastro key has more than one um door. So he, she's not in here, or she's not on this side. And I think our thing we found upstairs goes into that little pocket thing right there. So if we can just find out how to get it, it'll make things that much easier. Such a strange piece of art to take up a whole wall. Hmm. There's a large oval shaped hole decorating the center of the piece. So we gotta find something that's oval shaped. I can't see anything useful here. Uh, oof! Dear Mr. Newville, please, I beg you to forgive the incident that has occurred today. My son made a mistake. He behaved foolishly, and I will see to it that he is reprimanded for his actions. I assure you, this will never happen again. My son will never again enter the house, as you've warned him, and he will leave with and he will leave the food supplies on the pier weekly each Tuesday. I beg you to allow us to continue providing you with supplies and hope and pray that you will once again find it in your heart to trust us. Sincerely yours, Mr. Fabio Labrizzi-Sara. Horizontal scratches on the wall. Scratches on the wall. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but hey. That's what I was talking about, like stuff like that, how you just, like I would've never touched that if I was just not clicking stuff. We're about to go back outside and look for some clues. All right, let's look around. A huge root of this plant covered part of this wall. So maybe we have to burn that down later on. All right, let's go in here. Come on, on the other side, I have to find another way. It's a well over here. Make sure there's nothing on the side of this house. Wait a minute, let me make sure. All right, good. Let's check this well. Make sure there's nothing up in here. I can't see all the way, but it appears to be still be water inside. Okay, so I was walking, and I found this little abandoned house. So let's go inside here and see if we can find anything. It's boarded up, though. This door has been bared with long wooden planks. Can I use one of those wooden planks to walk across that thing? No side doors or anything back here, or what? Like, What's this over here? The lock of this gate is totally useless. I don't think I'd be able to open it anyway. Okay, what's this down here? Cemetery. Wait, I don't get it. Wait a minute, I just moved that. I don't know what I'm doing. So all of these have signs, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with it. I can see a little graveyard, but it's closed under the lock and key. It looks like that's where I will find the clues of part of the freaking cemetery, but... One, two, one, two, 
three, three. All right, let me try that. I want to go back to that little button thing we push in the room and see if I do that. And see if I um, copy what that thing just did for each side. Because it was like, let's try it. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six. Or was it one, two, three, four, five, six? I don't know what I just did, but it just detached from the anchor. So I don't know. Hey, whatever it was that I did, I'm a beast. Don't, I don't know, but I don't know what I I don't know what I did. Let's grab it. So we got our first emblem. <laughs> what? Ah! Wow! I'm lucky I didn't break anything. Alright, I see them right there at the table chilling. I'm just trying to look around first before I go over there and get my... It's not scared out of me. Two children struggle in the painting. It reminds me of Felice, and I'm playing when we're younger. A large vanity mirror. Nothing to see here but my own sullen reflection. An old grandfather clock made of solid oak. It looks like it hasn't chimed in years. Hmm, the clock can't still move easily enough. I don't know what I'm... Nothing happened. So, that's another problem. Disgusting eyeball made of porcelain. Why would anyone decorate a room with this? The ancient tablecloth is covered in mold. Rotting food spoils whatever elegance was once... Bro, her. I want to talk to... What the hell are you... Do you not see her right here? Do you not see this dead body? I know you're not going to pretend. There's some kind of red painting on his head something doesn't feel right um i bet it doesn't it's a person right next to her i know you see her felice asleep thank you finally i have to wake her and get her out of this place felice felice wake up please I've been worried sick. Come on, we have to get out of here before... Leave. No! I don't want! I don't want to! Screw on her. Viviette, we've become friends. I want to stay here with her. Oh my gosh, she's real. Viviette? Don't you see her? You... Are you talking about that doll over there? What? No! Not you too! How dare you! Felice, I'm sorry, I don't... She understands me. She's kind, unlike your friends. She believes me. We had tea. I prepared it on my own. It was just us. Here, Jules, I saved you some. Um, I... It's rude not to drink. You'll upset her. Okay, don't drink it. But afterwards, I think it's time that we say goodbye to your new friend and for us to go home, okay, Felice? No, don't you drink the Kool-Aid! Oh my goodness. Ugh! What? What is this? You could at least smell it before you drink it, bro. You like it? It's made of several teas and other weeds. Viviette taught me the recipe. Bruh. Wow, this game is out of control. If that dog comes alive, she's getting smacked down. Mm -hmm. Ugh! Dizzy. The tea. Stupid. That was stupid. Jules. Alright, so this is that door. So we unlocked that door. So let's go back and save it. A hole carved on the pedestal. Can I use it? Or how do you use it? There it is. Ooh! Let's go! Making progress, boy. The Mastro Key. Alright, so we got the Mastro Key. Let's save it again, just in case. Alright, boom. Secondary save station. Man, we on it. I'm loving this game. I'm glad I did decide to play this. I really am glad. So the Mastro Clear or the Maestro... Uh, 
Is that a shriek? Oh, new good instincts, boy. Good thing we saved it. Is this it? Oh, no, nope, that's the wrong room. I just remembered that. Is that something in the corner? What is that? Who could do such thing to a poor animal? Is that Rory? Yo, they killed Rory! He wasn't even in the gameplay for one episode! It's locked. Mastro key. Boom, good thing we got one. Let's get it. Alright. That fireplace. Let's see. A human hand sculpted from stone. Okay, let's go over here. Of all the fireplaces I've ever seen, this is the first that makes me feel unsettled. There's nothing cozy about it, or cozy about it. Maybe Felice started the fire. It is cold in here. I don't care how cold it is, you tripping. Books eaten away by time and mites. I see something sparkle over here. You got blue book. Okay, we got a blue book, so we want to check that out. Oh, wait a minute. It's a cult family invitation, Saturday 14th garden party. We quarterly request to welcome your presence. This coining Saturday the 14th at the party of organizing the garden of estates. Though the cause of reasoning eludes us, it has come to our attention that you and your wife have ceased frequenting town. Meaning no offense, and with the humblest respect, but if you require transport, we would be pleased to offer you one of our many boats to your disposal for such purposes. Sincerely yours, the Sikot family. Wow, they are very nice. So let's look at that blue book. This book has a blue cover. It is dedicated to crustaceans like crabs, lobsters, and prawns. So let's open it. I don't think it works here. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that, um, uh, let's go to here, cause this is crucial. Um, hold on, let me do this first before I even, creatures diverse species so can I use it here let's see don't think it works here all right let me go save it first excuse me F Felice w what have you done don't walk up on her oh my god this this isn't a game we, we have to go what's wrong with you oh Felice what happened to you Felice Liar! You want to lock me up in the horrible place again? What are you talking about? S stop! You're scaring me! Yeah, you, you you are. You're you're acting crazy. Oh, run! Don't come closer. Stop! Oh! Oh my god, I want to go, I, I need to get to the, can I at least go to the maestro room? Woo! Can I just go by and get the... Oh my god, yo, she's wild! Yo, oh my, I hope I don't be getting chased by her the whole game. Did she drop anything over here? Where's that? All right. Bro, open the door. Hurry up. Hurry up. Open the door. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Is that the cat? <laughs> no! <laughs> Get me off me. I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. Oh, my. She might admire me. Okay, so it's something in that pot, so we got that. Yo, she came back. Oh! Oh my god. I'm about to jump back in that hole. Jump down! Oh my god, please! Please leave out the room. Yo, she's about to, she about to get her ankles, bro. Hiya! Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's get this. What is this? We got a bucket. A bucket for what? Some kitchens, utensils, Let's try here. 
No? Okay. So I don't know what that bucket is for. Let me try to remember. A bucket. A bucket, a bucket, a bucket. A bucket for what? So I guess we got to fill it up with water or something maybe? I don't know. Bucket. Let me see what it says. An old wooden cube that can be used as a bucket. Despite its age, it has no... Oh, the water well! The water well we found. So I'm thinking... Alright, this is just me thinking. You go and go get the water right from the water well. You take that water well and you douse out the fireplace. And then a fireplace is probably going to be some kind of... um, Maybe some kind of key? Or something to go to our next mission? I don't know. That's my uh, thing about it. Let's find out. Okay, I'm right so far. I'm right. Bucket of water. Alright, so let's take this bucket of water. After we save it, we want to take this bucket of water back to the fireplace, douse out the flame, and see what happens. Back at the fireplace, let's see if my predictions was correct. Let's go! Mm. What's in here? Oh, it's a cave. I don't like it that the music went away. Why is it so quiet? I don't like that. I can't read the inscription. It's impossible. The floor isn't stable. It's creaking. It could collapse at any moment. Oh, well, let me get out of the airway then. I don't want to. All right, there it is. This music is back. I feel a little bit better now. I think I was more scared when it stopped. Dozen of boxes all containing bottles of various liquids. There's a treasure chest over here. An ordinate chest. It won't open. There's a lot. It seems to have a five digit combination. A collection of nautical thin gold plated figures. They're beautiful, seemingly untouched by the decay around them. Hmm. There seems to be a few missing. I wonder where they went. So we have to find... Oh, okay. So that's the, um... Let me see if I can use that book here. We're gonna keep trying the book or everything. No, okay. Let's go in here. Oh, snap. My dear Alice, a lard is worrying me. I don't care about the parties, but after my latest loss, he isn't even willing to go into town. He does not allow me to use the boat either. He seems absent, caught in his own thoughts about who knows what. The fact is, when he stares at me and uneasiness rushes through me, I feel frightened, frightened, even that he will discover this later. I'm afraid, Alice, and deeply troubled by a large mental state. When and where could we meet? It must be secret. Please, give your letter to Fabio's son and implore him to hide it under the third plank on the pier. Okay, let's move. Bruh. Ah! <laughs> A neck between the head and torso is made of fine wood. Can you move these? I just hope she don't come out of nowhere again. All right, let me stop playing around. I'm about to go back and save it before I run into her again. Get your ankles broke! No! Ah! Ah! Lots of things here are useless. I don't... Nope. Please be a safe station. Yes! I wonder what all the machinery is for. Is this some kind of boiler? Well, it's not important because it's not in yellow. But I'm glad they let you know what the things are to do us in yellow. Kind of wheelbarrow sacks of cement. So we found a, a crowbar. Nothing in here. Chris Judge method of use. All right, so I think that crowbar might go outside. Remember that time we were outside and we were searching for um, doors? And some of them was like, it doesn't look like it's gonna open. Maybe it can open now since we have a crowbar. So let's go make our way back. <clears throat> ah! Ah! My prediction works. Okay, it did work. All right, so we're on the right path. Wooden planks. Now we can use those to walk across the other thing. All right. So spooky in here. I like the music though. It seems this machine controls that huge radio saw over there. There's an opening on the front side. So we have to stick something in it. And then from there, we'll know what to do, I guess. Nothing. Dear Mr. Newville, I'm writing to you personally to tell you that I am concerned about your medical condition. After what I observed during your latest visit, I am troubled for your health. For the sake of discretion, I have avoided saying any type of comment in front of your wife, but please, I beg you, come visit me privately as early as possible. 
Let us talk about what is worrying you and what God's steady hand which shall preserve or persevere. Meanwhile, I advise you to rest and above all, avoid alcoholic beverages. I await your visit, Dr. Gatson Balevablo. So whoever the guy is, the husband of Dr. Newville, he was an alcoholic, a trunk, it won't open. Or will it? What? The power of the crowbar solves all. All right, here we are. He said the third one. So one, two, three. How would I? It's not moving it though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What the hell? One, two. Oh, let's start here. Hmm. Maybe it's one, two, three. Um, yeah, no. I think I have to put it right there. Large scene code looks dangerous. There you go. Come kill me. Oh! You better run. He's about to get dropped, son. Religious sculpture of the stone. Space expression. Deadless. What key? The Greco key. So Greco key has one down here. One upstairs. Okay. No. Let's go in here. So, so room a well-used billiards table the insects have eaten away at the surface a shame i enjoy billiards uh nobody cares about that right now so um yeah how about that a bronze sculpture of a woman with a fist raised it looks like there is something inside the fist i can't tell what it is or how i'm supposed to get it out her handy dandy crowbar no look um there are gold-plated nautical themed figures on the board. They are anchored in place, though I can't move them. Wait, they can be pushed down. Wait. All right, so I'm thinking we figure that out, we can get that out that lady did. So many puzzles. I mean, it's pretty dope, but let me go back upstairs and check. That's the only thing, it's a lot of running back and forth. Oh, more rooms. Lock from the other side. What are you? A heavy suit of rusted armor. I'm glad I was born in a less violent era and never had to wear one. Lock besides the key. Oh, so we got a lot of keys. Oh, Jesus, no, please don't do it to me. I'm too young. Faucet doesn't work. I, it's flies. Ooh. Uh, what's that horrible smell? The bathtub is full of some sort of thick red liquid. Fuck it. Fuck it with red mud. So I guess we gotta keep doing that until we, um, and then dump it. Oh. Dump it in the toilet? No. Mm. Whatever it is, we got a bucket of bread liquid. I sense her. She is near me. I desperately want her to come back at my side, but not like this. I walk the corridors and behind my back, the world comes alive but vanishes when I face it. My imagination? It is lucid. It is dreaming such things. No, it's no illusion. It cannot be. I have noticed her breath, her breath and hands. They are close to me. They are around me. Oh, damn. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't want to experience her hot-ass breath on my neck. Oh, yeah, filled up in this one. Alright, so we gotta keep going back and forth to do that. Okay, boom. It's our last bucket. Let's go back and fill the last one, and then... We should be able to oh, yeah, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> Alright, something broke right here. We got white rook chest piece. I think only chest piece we seen was downstairs. Now let's go back and save it. Well guys, I'm gonna end it right here. If you enjoyed this gameplay, be sure to like, comment, and 
on that subscribe button to be a part of the murder cross today again if no one told you today i love you i'm in really enjoying this gameplay right now i'm enjoying it. i love it i'm glad i started playing this game and it was my first 2d horror game so hopefully we both can enjoy it together lots of puzzles so much stuff so many like look we got mastro key bucket control bar blue book white rock chest piece and the alchemical lamp, whatever it is, the white rook chest piece is engraved onto a piece of rectangular porcelain. So we're gonna find some rectangular porcelain somewhere and put that into our next gameplay. Oh man, there's so much going on. Hopefully we can figure all these puzzles out. I'm enjoying it, but again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.